Hi there, Candace Gillespie here from Candace's Canvases. Today I am going to take you through a little technique called gesso resist on a tag I made. Before I do though, I just want to make sure that everyone's aware of my social media. I post projects on Facebook and Instagram and just check out my Pinterest too if you want. So here we go. Here I just have a regular size of white cardstock and I'm cutting it three by the eight and a half length, which I'll trim down later. And I'm gonna take this tag topper punch and just kind of wiggle it in there, make it nice and centered. And I'm gonna grab some scissors and just snip off these two rectangular pieces. And then I'm gonna come in and fix these square edges with a circle punch. I'm gonna go from, I'm gonna go in, I don't know how to explain that, but you kind of see what I'm doing to round those sides. And you can see here it's a one and three eighths circle punch, but I've used a lot of different sizes to do this. Okay, and I think this is where I'm kind of getting an eye for how big I want this tag to be. And I just visually cut it down. I, I didn't measure it. I just kind of was like, well, that, that looks like it's the width and the length kind of fit. So I went in and I rounded those two bottom corners also. Now here's where the gesso comes in. I'm relatively new to gesso. Um, so I'm, I've been looking up all kinds of different techniques and this is one I wanted to try. So what you do is you take your gesso and you paint it over your stamp, which I was thinking, oh no, my beautiful stamp. <laughs> but just go with it, go with itself. <laughs> so just painting it along where I think that the tag is gonna line up. Once it's nice and full, you just stamp it down where you want the gesso resist to be. So um, while you're watching this, I just wanted to um, tell you why I'm making this tag and for who, whom. Um, I just took my heat tool to this, by the way, to dry it faster. Uh, my friend Kayla is having her first baby girl. So at the end of this video, you'll see the gift that I um, wrapped with this tag in a DIY paper bow. It's kind of a biggie. Um, if you're interested in seeing a tutorial on that bow, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to do so. So here I'm just taking a teal and a coral color and I'm smushing them down. My aim was to smush them down kind of the width of this tag. I think it's a little bit leaner here, but you get what I'm, you get my drift. And then I did the same um, sprinkle of water, leaving some of the ink concentrated and then I just drag it through and it looks like a wreck right now but just hang in there and you'll see that it turns out awesome. So I'm just kind of making sure I have a good good coverage and then I'm dabbing off the excess and then I'll take my heat tool to that also. And once that's dry, I do the same smushy of my ink pads onto the craft sheet here. And then I do the back side of the tag the same exact way. Just tripping on the water from my paintbrush. And it's a little bit white because the water is splashing down. You can see it kind of creamy looking. It just has some leftover gesso on it and I'm totally fine with that. So here I am, dipping the back in there. And then I'm 
soaking up the excess water and then hitting it with the heat tool one more time. And here it is, you can see how the gesso resisted being colored. And I even like how it kind of has like a, not yellow, but a creamy hue to it. It's really cool. I'm definitely into that technique. So I'm just trying to choose some papers to go with this tag. And I don't know the name of this paper pack. I'm doing a voiceover at a later time from when I filmed this, but I am in love with it. It's really thin paper, one-sided thin scrapbook paper, but I love it. So here's what I'm doing with it. To save your patience and my patience of watching myself, I'm a very slow fussy cutter. Um, I skipped it all and here I am finishing out. I cut these three sets of flower. Wait, one is two, one has one little tiny flower and then the other has three flowers in it. Um, I cut these out of this paper and I took, let's see, what am I doing next? Oh yeah, I'm gonna ink the sides. So I'm grabbing the same ink, that teal, I'm just inking up the green leaves. I think that the green, it's like a minty green on that, on that, um, those leaves. So I'm just hitting the edges there with the teal color. And then I come back in and then I'll do the same with the flowers with the coral color. There it is. Note to self, don't use the teal sponge with the coral ink. Silly. Sheesh. So I'm just making these to turn into little DIY embellishments and um, so you can use them just as is. You can glue them down onto cardstock, but what I'm going to do is take some glossy accents or, um, I have glossy accents here and it's in the, sh in the frame because I wanted you to see that the Stampin' Up! product is the same kind of stuff. And I'm just unclogging the tip. I glued a pin into my cap of that of that glossy accent stuff just to kind of keep it unplugged doesn't always work but for the most part it does and then I'm covering the surface I have I put them on a little silicone mat and I'm covering the surface with glossy accents and then these so then these once they dry are going to be like little they'll look like the enamel stickers type things I really love how those turned out and stay tuned because you'll see at the end how they turned out. Okay, once that's done, I just set those aside to dry and then now I'm going to make some fishtailed banners. Um, I'm going to make three of them and I just show you how I'm cutting this out. I can't remember, maybe it was like three quarters or seven eighths of an inch or something like that. But I, I made it so that it was a good proportion um, when it's when I put it against the tag. Then I just glue it, since it's super thin paper, I just glue it on the back of this scrap piece of cardstock. Oh, another note to self, <clears throat> and to all you selves out there, um, I added a little bit of water to my Eileen's Tacky Glue because it kind of gets thick towards the end, but I added too much, and I think that's another reason why it kind of soaks into this thinner paper a lot. Okay, just cutting it out now, and then... I'm going to make my little fishtail end here. Set that aside to dry. And then here you can see that I've done the same exact thing with that coral polka dotted one and the gray polka dotted one. And I'm just inking up the edges with 
the coordinating colors. So the coral one I inked up with coral, the teal one I inked up with the teal, and the gray one I inked up with the gray. I don't show you the gray because my ink pad was really dry, so I ended up, you can see the gray one, I just smushed it in there. And then I come back with like a brown color, and I ink over that, and it just blends the two colors. I, I kind of like that effect. And then now I'm just positioning these on here to see if I like them um, horizontally or vertically. And I think vertically would be super cute too. I gotta make another one of these. And then here are my embellishments, all nice and dry and ready to use. And so I'm gonna glue them together first, then see where I want them. and then glue it all down. Do these long silences make you uncomfortable? <laughs> While I'm just sitting here waiting for the next cue. <laughs> I can sing for you. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so I'm just putting one of them I I glued down straight to the tag and then the other two I put some pop dots on them just to give it some dimension. Okay and we're finishing up here. So now I just take a pencil and I sketch on there happily ever after because my friend's baby girl um, her name is Ever so um, you'll see that I take, once I'm done finalizing it, I take the glossy accent stuff and um, I'll trace over it. But if you know um, me in any of my projects, I love to stamp them with kind of a signature. So I just put my signature stamp there and then with the black Sharpie marker, I put a heart so it kind of says love, Candace. And then here's where I take the glossy accent stuff can't remember what Stampin' Up! calls it. Oh, here, it's funny. I got distracted. I was trying to unclog it, and then I'm like, oh, I should make some enamel dot-looking things on this. And I actually used them. I'll, I'll show you in a later video. But um, So finishing up and just tracing Ever, going over her name with the shiny stuff. And that is it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And we'll see you next time. Bye.